Hi friends, uh, I am Dr. S. P. Mathu, Department of English, Marwari College. Uh, today I am going to discuss Ghosts by Henrik Johann Ibsen. Uh, Henrik Johann Ibsen was born on 20th March 1828 in Norway. He was educated at uh, a local school but was uh, soon forced to leave uh, school at the age of 15. Uh, later on, he moved to a small town of Grimslad to become an apprentice pharmacist and began writing plays. His first play was Tragedy by Name Catiline, published in 1850. Next comes the Burial Mound, 1850, Brand in 1600 sorry in 1865 uh, emperor and galilean came out in 1873 uh, it dramatizes the life and time of uh, the roman emperor julian and apostate adol's house came out in 1879 followed by curse by uh, 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 followed by ghosts in 1881. Ibsen wrote more than 25 plays uh, in his lifetime. On 23rd May 1906, uh, he, um, Ibsen died in Christina, the present Oslo in Norway. Uh, the present play Ghost is written by Henrik Johann Ibsen, originally titled Yengengel during the autumn of 1881 and it was published in the same year. The title translation in English as Ghost was in fact not liked by Ibsen. Whatever may be, it is one of the most criticized play of Ibsen where he tries to divulge or disclose the hollowness and falsity of conventional morality, especially the hollowness of conventional values and, uh, sorry, conventional values attached to family and marriage life. Ibsen was considered as the father of modern English drama. He is supposed to lend the English drama a kind of realism, lyricism and a well-constructed plot, which deal with the problems of social issues and marriage life. Uh, next coming to its publication, when it was published, there were lots of comments, uh, lots of reviews by newspapers, critics and journals um, which went against Bibson. Uh, particularly, I will quote here the um, comment by Daily Chronicle, um, revolutionary, uh, suggestive and blasphemous. Characters either contradict characters either contradict each other or just hate each other. Apart from the reviews, Ghost is still considered as the finest tragedy of Ibsen. It deals with middle class people in simple everyday prose. It is a devastating commentary of Ibsen's, sorry, it is the devastating commentary on the mortality, on the morality of Ibsen's society where a widow reveals to her pastor that she had hidden the evils of her marriage for a certain period. 
the pastor had advised her to marry captain alving if only her love could change him but it was a total failure after marriage also the captain um, continued with all his odd behaviors and he remained a philanderer throughout his life and all his immoral behavior his disease uh, whatever he inherited was passed on to his son oswald alvin uh, particularly the hereditary uh, disease that is syphilis it was passed on to oswald by his father uh, ghost is a domestic drama uh, divided into three acts the characters are limited for example we have only these four, five characters mrs helen alvin oswald alvin pastor manders jacob ingstrand and the last character regina ingstrand so mrs helen alvin is the wife of captain alvin oswald a painter is the son of helen and um, captain alvin pastor then we have jack ingstrand he is the keynote of the theme then regina ingstrand is the maid servant to helen uh, so all the we have very limited characters in the play which pull over the tragedy or which pull over the drama Regina Ingstrand is an illegitimate child of Captain Alvin and Joanna. She is, uh, no doubt, in the play she is shown as Ingstrand's daughter. Uh, but later on, the uh, this uh, uh, hidden fact is uh, told by Helen herself. So we see that this. Uh, drama is divided into three acts and all the three acts are very small and um, all these three acts are enacted in the same drawing room of mrs alvin so the, the um, uh we uh, as far as act 1 is considered we see this is uh, uh, all the central problem is revealed here all the characters are introduced here and we find regina and ingstrand talking uh, regina is a young woman of 23 works as a maid in the house of mrs alvin jacob ingstrand looks shabby and rough regina doesn't like his look he hates him he doesn't want to stay with him uh, he offers her to live with uh, him he offers regina who is the daughter at present to live with him but she doesn't want to live with this drunkard person she rather prefers to work in the house of helen alvin uh, jacob ingstrain offers her to work with him in the seamen's home uh, next we see uh, jacob ingstrain Uh, uh conveys her feeling uh, sorry his feeling to regina ingstrand he says that she has turned into such a fine wench that um uh, she could easily uh work in a prostitute home in a brothel so we see that being a father how could he say such a thing to his own daughter because at present regina doesn't know that uh, jacob is not her original father so he says that she would be a valuable asset to the seamen's home which will be in a brothel in reality later on and he has earned quite a lot of money by working in the orphanage home regina um, doesn't appreciate of his idea and says that is she has better things better option to do she has a lot of she has lot of plans with oswald whom she thinks she could get married at later stage uh here pastor amanda appears on the scene 
and we see Regina goes inside to tell Mrs. Helen to inform him about his arrival and she leaves the place and Mrs. Elwin makes, uh, takes entry here and uh, before leaving um, uh, Pastor Manders tells her that she should live with uh, Jacob Engstrand because he is a drunkard and being a daughter she could better look after him, take care of him, but she doesn't appreciate his idea or his advice. Uh, rather, she prefers to stay with Helen Alvin. So, uh, we see that Mrs. Alvin comes into the scene. She talks with Pastor Man Manders. They exchange good wishes. And here we find that um, Regina, who doesn't want to go to her own house, she prefers to stay with Mrs. Alvin. And uh, they, while they talk, the um, um, pastor has come here to discuss about their common enterprise, that is the opening of the orphanage's home. They talk, talk about this and uh, next we find Oswald entering the scene. He seems to have all the qualities of his, he seems to have all the qualities of his late father. Um, the cap, no, sorry, uh, captain is never seen, he is dead person but uh, we get the reference of um, Captain Alvin throughout the play. Uh, not present in the scene, but uh, his impact is felt throughout the drama. Uh, Pastor Mander is shocked to find that Mrs. Alvin as a mother has not um, uh, completed his, her duty to look after his son properly. She has neglected her duty as a wife too. And um, uh, uh, you can say that... Um, um, in the whole play, the, in Act 1, we find that uh, there are a lot of problems like uh, it has uh, one major thing, these people, those people, these, um, we find uh, in the novel, uh, sorry, in the drama, we find there are two groups of people, one who are um, full of morality and the other group who are uh, less of morality, the, um, uh, the one is good in society and one part is bad in society there so in the second act while going to the second act we see that after having dinner Oswald goes out for a walk and uh, Regina goes inside to wash the laundry she goes inside for her work and these two people Pastor and uh, Mrs. Helen are present here they chat and um, uh, Pastor is shocked to find uh, the story of Mrs. Alvin, how she has uh, managed to hush up her husband's scandalous affair with Joanna, that is uh, the mother of Regina, uh, how she has uh, managed to uh, hush up this story uh, by marrying um, Joanna to Jacob Engstrand and um, uh, uh, giving a meager amount of uh, uh, seven hundred dollars, uh, or so, uh, sorry, seventy pounds, by offering seventy pounds to Jacob Engstrand, um, Helen Helen Elvin somehow manages to get her married to Jacob Engstrand. So it's uh, quite <coughs> um, uh, Oswald for uh, sorry for Pastor Mander. It is quite. Um, um, Wonder, wondrous thing that like that how a person can marry a woman just for a meager amount of 70 pounds. Here Mrs. Alvin tries to compare herself with Joanna saying that she has also married a fallen man. But there, uh, there is a difference. Um, Joanna married Jacob Engstrand who is not of a good uh, origin or um, not of a uh, not a wealthy person but Mrs. Alvin had married Captain Alvin who was very rich and a very wealthy person. So there is a basic difference between uh, the marriage between these two ladies. And um, uh, <coughs> sorry. 
in act 2 we see that um, it contains oswald's tiresome sorry in in act 2 we see um, oswald's tiredness nature he is too tired uh, when he goes to work anything he feels that something from within himself uh, within his own body coming out as if he is unable to do something he has shown uh, a doctor in paris so he also has told him that he is uh, suffering with some kind of disease that is um, you can say uh, syphilis it is a hereditary disease which is passed on to him from his father and um, and we see that uh, while these people are talking all these things there is a sudden fire outside a blaze sorry a blaze is seen outside and in between we see that um, here at this point mrs alvin had tried to um, uh, inform these two person to um, uh, uh, oswald and regina a hidden secret about their being step brother and step sister uh, she was about to tell or about to open the fact re reveal the hidden secret to these two people uh, at that same point we see that the um, uh, blaze is seen within from her, her balcony and the matter subsides and suddenly the orphanage uh, it is known that the orphanage is on fire regina and oswald are still unaware of the fact of their parenthood and next we go to act 3 here also the same act is also enacted here only 